He's one of the best pitchers in Minnesota and doesn't play for the Twins, but rather the St. Saint Paul Saints. The guy with the funny name and the almost mythical rise. Local kid from Moundsview High wows the scouts at an open tryout, signs a pro deal, makes the major leagues, gets to the World Series, then loses it all and finds himself. Living an unorthodox lifestyle that just might make Mark Hamburger the most interesting man in baseball. So total rebuild pretty much, huh? Oh, complete. The only thing that we're doing is just leaving the exterior, like I like the gray. It might not look like much now, but this is where Mark Hamburger will be living in the near future. He's currently restoring this 1969 camper with his brother, who's a carpenter. Customize your own house. When it's finished, it will be his home, so that the best pitcher in the league, a former big leaguer on a World Series team, can practice tiny living and minimalism. Taking the underbody. He named it. Marv. Going through your stuff and seeing what you need and what you don't need, it just appealed to me. This just, it fits my lifestyle. In the meantime, the 30-year-old hamburger lives in his parents' basement. Yeah. He drives a 1989 wood-paneled station wagon. And here we have Hazel. Hazel. Yeah, 1989 custom cruiser, a.k.a. Woody yeah. Wag. And frequently skateboards his commute to the ballpark. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Here, a kitten purr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We're full go. Quite a lifestyle, it is. If people look at me and say that I'm um, out there, I mean, I guess it's true for the job that I'm in. So this is the daily driver, then. Daily driver. He quotes Plato from memory, prefers not to carry a cell phone, and let's not forget his appearance a personal style perhaps best described as hacky sack enthusiast. In a sport that values conformity like few others, hamburger is as unconventional as they come. A square peg in a game of round circles. I don't try to push myself on anybody or be all crazy goofy, but I, I am free. I'm free to be who I am and I, I don't hold myself to like rules of the clubhouse. I don't close my bathroom door. I've had my I have my players walk in while I'm using the restroom and they're like what the heck and I'm just like hey how you doing because I like to I like to just enjoy and like I'm not embarrassed of anything just having fun you had this moment of Whoa! Hamburger bought the car two years ago off Craigslist. First off, if you find a Woody Wagon in the condition like that and you're looking to buy a car, you should probably buy it. It fits his general ethos. I mean, you didn't picture him driving a Camry, did you? My heart. But what may seem like the free spirited eccentricities of a bona fide modern hippie is actually a man who thinks through every area of his life and lives with great intentionality and mindfulness. Like the skateboarding, for instance. I'm pushing from my right leg. When I play baseball, I'm pushing off my right leg. Um, it's endurance. Baseball with pitching as a starter, it's endurance. You know, I was told in minor league baseball, you can't do that. And I was like, but it's good for me, you know, and I'm safe. And guys buy cars that go 160, and you're telling me I can't go 12? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Once I started practicing being mindful, then mindfulness started coming into my life I couldn't just it's not just something you're like oh I'm super mindful like it's like every morning I'm waking up going okay what should I be mindful for to hamburger there is a direct correlation between the way he lives and the way he pitches and he pitches really really well the best in the league so well you wonder why in the world he's still here in the lowest level of minor league baseball rather than back in a big league system. When did all this mindfulness begin? I mean, I would I'd probably have to say the biggest, one of the biggest shifts of my life was when I, um, was when I failed my drug test because my whole job and career ended. My whole life in general of what I knew came to a, a complete halt. Hamburger was on top of the world in 2011, in the big leagues, as a rookie reliever on the Texas Rangers team that went to the World Series. But he was left off the postseason roster. 
then disappointed again shortly after. End of the World Series, they give off a playoff bonus or a share or whatever, and I had an expectation that my dreams would be fulfilled, and I was given a very, very minimal amount, and I took that personally, and I was so angry. That is what started my downfall. As his anger burned, he smoked lots and lots of marijuana to soothe the frustration, and his performance reflected it as he bounced around the minors released by three different teams. In early 2013, he failed two drug tests within two months, which came with a 50-game suspension, essentially killing his baseball career. And that's exactly what I needed. It was like I always said when I was younger, smoking, drinking, all these things, partying, I'd get caught, but never for the big thing. You never get caught for the, it's always like little taps on the shoulder, like, wake up, dude, like, wake up, wake up, until finally I have such a thick head that it just <laughs> brought the gavel down, and, and that's when my life of mindfulness started. He put himself into rehab, which changed his whole outlook. The anger I was holding on to was pointless, um, that it's just weighing me down. I let it go. And once I let it go, it was like I felt like a feather, man. I felt like after crying, letting go of all that, like, and it was good to cry. Like, screw all the manly stuff. It was, it was like a, like letting, purging that out of me. My whole life is different now because my past doesn't haunt me anymore. I'm not letting my past attach itself to me anymore. I'm living presently and mindfully. He joined the Saints after rehab and pitched well enough in 2013 to get signed by the Twins into their minor league system. But it was his release two years later that showed truly how far he'd come. I couldn't get over what happened to me in 2011 or being released in 2012. I couldn't get over it for a couple of years. I got over this within a day. And rejoined the Saints, with whom for the last two seasons he's pitching better than he ever has and more importantly in his mind, living better than he ever has. Do you still have ambitions of being back in the big leagues or are you happy here? Level-wise, I'd love to play there. But he's turned down multiple chances to put himself back on that path. Part desire to remain a starter, not a role-playing reliever. Part loyalty to the Saints. Part hesitancy about not wanting to change anything about what is now a really happy life. Do you worry at all that the way that you look or the way that you live being different from most other ball players would scare a team off, would be a deterrent? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I see it. I know I get judged. I know that teams are like, Hamburger's probably still smoking. Hamburger's probably doing this. Why not change you to make yourself more appealing? I thought about that. What if I just cut my hair, crew cutted it out, wore, you know, like button-ups every day, looked fresh, <laughs> I, would, I would hate myself at nighttime. I would look in the mirror, and I love my curls right now, man. I've never had this before. You know, people say I got a, a receding hairline. I might only have two haircuts left, so I'm not going to cut my hair because I like it. Hi. They recognize the car? Oh, yeah. I feel so good right now. I feel so good in my own skin and my own hair and my own clothing, um, I couldn't do it. I'm very passionate about getting better and better and better and maybe someday being seen by the right person who wants to give me the opportunity. Hi, Minnesota Twins. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I also um, am very content knowing that I throw a baseball for a living and I sustain myself. I make a small amount a month, but enough to live a very, very happy life. Hamburger is an American Association All-Star for the second year in a row. He'll pitch in the game next week.